You ain't attractive. That's what it comes down to. You're not who you claim to be, bro. Or the women from other races don't even find you attractive. So you want to blame your race. Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, right, guys, man. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, I'm here to tell you about the harsh truth about how your race matters in dating. This is going to hurt your feelings. This is a make it clear, call out, whatever you want to call, whatever you want to say, guys. Whatever you want, whatever you youngins, you young bucks want to call it. I'm setting it, I'm setting it clear in this video because I'm seeing a lot of nonsense on the internet. A lot of uh, ill advice and I don't think it's, it's honest. I don't think it has you guys' best interest at heart long term. Guys, I'm going to reiterate this. My advice is for your best interest long term. I don't care about anything else. That's all. Even if it hurts your feelings today, it's about your best interest long term. So let's get right into it. Does your race matter in dating? Guys, preference doesn't always mean ultimate choice. Preference doesn't always mean ultimate choice. So the argument, the black pill, and guys who think that race matters, the argument they have is technically a lot of women won't want you because of your specific race or your race matters so much because it is and this and that. And I want to argue and say that preference doesn't always mean ultimate choice. I am a guy that has slept with almost every ethnic group, every race of woman. I have been with plenty of women who told me you're the first black guy I've ever been with. Asian women, you're the first black guy I've, you, I've ever been with. I've been all around the globe. And do these women maybe have a preference? towards men of their race, but they didn't make that ultimate choice. And what I don't want guys to make the mistake of doing is taking these rules, these 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 stigmas, this information that kind of hinders you, right? And thinking that that's the choice that a girl is gonna make every single time. What do we know about women? What they say and what they do doesn't often correlate, right? If you're watching my videos, if it's because probably what women have told you and how they acted wasn't always correlated. So women will come out here and say, oh, I like a nice guy who buys me flowers and who showers me with attention, then turns around and goes sleeps with the dude that ain't giving her no attention. The dude has ignoring her. They will sit up here and tell you, I don't like my man to want other girls. I want my man all for me. And turn around and go chase the dude that women are chasing. Go chase the dude who is dating several girls. So, what are we gonna go with? Are we gonna go with what women are saying or what they're doing? Correlation, proof, actions, not words. What do women do ultimately? What is the ultimate decision they make? The ultimate decision tends to be they do what they feel like doing in that moment. You might meet a girl who's never been with a white dude, but today, you're so attractive, she wants to get with you. Does her preference now make the ultimate choice of whether she's going to get with you or not? Or is it her feelings and her emotions and how attracted she is to you? If you're a guy, whatever race you are watching this video, I guarantee you, you can date women of all races. Maybe they don't find you attractive enough. Maybe you just don't get them going. But don't sit up here and lie to me over the proof continuous proof I've seen from not just myself, but guys I coach who can date women from any single race. Yes, those women might have a preference, but the ultimate choice will come down to that specific girl in that moment, how she feels and how attracted she is to you. Please keep this in mind whenever you hear this race argument. Please keep this in mind as I'm going through this video. Number two echo chambers and confirmation bias will make you lose long term what are echo chambers guys what is confirmation bias echo chambers are basically a group of people who bounce off the same ideologies the same thoughts in agreement. what i try to do is to not make anything i'm a part of be an echo chamber meaning there should be some some disagreements but i think that a lot of people when you share the same information with people that agree with you, 
There's no new thought. So a lot of guys in the red pill or in the black pill and whatever pill, sometimes it can be an echo chamber. Sometimes it can be, we all agree with the same thing. We're just saying the same things over and over and over again. And that can affect you long-term. If you're not introduced to a new way of thinking, if you're not introduced to a different thought, you will lose long-term. I'm reading this book right now, guys. I seriously recommend. It's called Unshakable by Tony Robbins. And it's, it's, it's a book about investing in money, but there's a lot of gems in it. That I, that, that I wanted to share in this video and, and that talks specifically about confirmation bias. What is confirmation bias? Confirmation bias in this book, right? I'm gonna just read you the quote from the book, which is the human tendency to seek out and value information that confirms our own preconceptions and beliefs. Our tendency to seek out information that basically validates what we think we already know. What does that mean for that children? And why is that so important? If you're a guy that thinks that your race plays such a huge role in dating, what do you think you're going to look for? What do you think you're going to validate? That specific thought. I always challenge myself to not have confirmation bias. Yes, there are things that I know that are principles. There are things that I believe in. But I'm, I'm smart enough, intelligent enough to know that I don't know everything. I know I don't know everything. I want to challenge my own beliefs. I'm willing to grow. This is why I tell you guys, I've, I've said this on a live stream so many times. Whatever I'm telling you today might not be what I tell you in six months. Might not be what I tell you in a month. Why? Because I'm constantly challenging myself to learn something different. I'm constantly focused now on self-education. So I might learn some new things that I will come out here and share with y'all that might go against what I've told before. Because as a, as a man, the, the, the process of being a man is to grow. If you have the same thoughts and, and emotions and feelings and the same ideas forever, you didn't grow. Anybody you're listening to that doesn't evolve in their thinking, you should stop listening to. Or doesn't at least alter or bring in a new perspective, you should stop listening to. So when you have confirmation bias and you're in the echo chamber, those two together, you're in a group of people or in a community of people who share the same exact thoughts and feelings and ambitions and whatever, whatever, just bouncing off each other, saying the same things over and over again. And the human tendency with confirmation bias to seek out information that validates what we think we know. What do you think you're going to be stuck in? A loop. A loop of the same ideas, no growth. And this is why a lot of guys get into red pill and they just get angry. They just get angry. They get upset. You hear some information. Okay, it makes kind of sense. And then you just stay there. There's no true progress because you haven't started challenging yourself to think differently or to try to learn something new. And if that doesn't happen, you're going to get stuck. I challenge you guys to always learn something new. I challenge you guys to always try to diversify your information. Because if you don't, if you keep repeating the same things over and over, you keep looking for the same information over and over, you're not going to get the ultimate result. Number three, blaming race is a cope for your lack of options. I refuse to be pathetic. I refuse to be pathetic. And I think this is something that I, I actually like about myself. There are things that I'm not good at, right? But there, there's, there's one thing I like about myself is that I'm very self-critical. And I wanna challenge you guys to be more self-critical. So I wanna read you some stats about race in the, 20, in the, in the 21st century. Approval rating of interracial marriages in the United States is at a new high of 94% as of 2021. This is according to the Gallup polling. Back in 1967, just 3% of married couples were interracial. Now, this is all the way up to 2021. Now it's 20% of all marriages are interracial. Why do I say this? I say this to say, there are plenty of people who successfully date outside of their race. There are plenty of people who can successfully attract women outside of their race. It's not an overwhelming majority, but it's very, very possible. And what I want guys to understand is, I want you to go where you're loved. I don't want you to think that you only have to deal with a specific type of woman. This is what I mean by, when I tell you guys to be well-rounded, when I tell you guys to make yourself attractive to all women, when I tell you guys to not niche down on your looks so much, be diverse so you can attract the kind of women you want. I'm very open-minded to say, hey, the kind of girl I'm gonna end up with, I don't know what color she's gonna be. 
I'm not a bigot. I don't look at it race like that. Whoever girl treats me the best is where I'm gonna go. I'm not finna sit up here and say, oh, the reason why uh, these girls don't want me is because of my race. This is the, the reoccurring theme. The reason I made this video, guys, you guys are like, why is Fidex talking about this one specific topic and with so much passion? So I get a lot of questions on my Q and A's when I do Instagram Q and A's. And one of the messages that keeps floating around, right? This, this self pity, this self loading of race. Guys who suck with women, they try to blame the fact that it's because they look like this. It's because of the color of their skin and not actually how attractive they are. Not actually the fact that they're fat, right? Broke, no game. That, that doesn't have nothing to do with it. It's the fact that the color of their skin is what's stopping them. And I refuse to, to let any of my guys be that pathetic. Your lack of options does not come down to your race. Whatever color you are, bro, there are plenty of women who like men that look like you. And also, there are plenty of women who like men that look like you, that don't look like you, according to the stats. So whatever you want to go date, bro, you can do it. If you're a white dude and you want to date black women, you can do it. If you're a black dude and you want to date white women, you can do it. Whatever you want to do, I want to give you the option and choice to say, whatever I want to attract, I'm capable of attracting. I don't give a damn about all these, if I'm not this color, I'm this color, and this color is affecting me. Shut the hell up. You ain't attractive. You ain't attractive. That's what it comes down to. You're not who you claim to be, bro. Or the women from other races don't even find you attractive. So you want to blame your race. I refuse to be pathetic. I'm very, very self-critical. I look myself in the mirror and put the responsibility on me. So that's why this is something that, that bothers me a lot because I know it hinders you as a man. I know I know it's, a, it's, an, it's another excuse that guys can fall back on when they're not getting the results they want. Oh man, it's because of this. That's why all these girls don't want me. Not because of things I can control. Oh no, no, not that. It's because of the color of my skin. Even though plenty of men that look like me are very successful with the opposite race. I did a live stream a week or so ago about this topic and they had a few guys coming on there. Yeah, man, I think it's because of this. It's because of this. I'm like, bro, I'm looking at you right now through the live stream. No facial aesthetics. <laughs> You're out of shape. You got acne. I look, I look on your Instagram profile. No posts. My G, what do you mean your race? It ain't you got nothing to do. You ugly. You're not attractive. What are we what are we talking about? There are plenty of dudes in any race who can conquer and do whatever they want and date whoever they want from whichever race. So we gotta get rid of this limiting belief, guys. In my sincere opinion, do women have preferences? Yes. Does that limit your options as a man, as a true high value man? Absolutely not. Nothing to do with you. Why a woman doesn't like me does not matter to me. I don't give a damn if she don't like my nostrils. I don't give a damn if she saw me and my nostrils turned her off. I don't care. I'm not gonna focus on things that I cannot control because that doesn't give me power. That brings me to my last point. Focusing on what you can control makes you powerless. The advice most of the internet gives in the self-improvement space, and I want you guys to listen to me carefully, is powerless advice. Advice on things that you cannot physically control. When you hear these terminologies like this about race or height or things like that, whenever people are giving you advice and they're, they're focusing on something you know you can't control, run away. Please take my advice. If you're, if you're listening to advice and what the advice you're giving is more focused on complaining, whining, and focusing on things you can't control, run away. That person isn't trying to help you. They know you can't control this, but they know a lot of people will rather latch onto this because, hey, I can blame this. And it's a pity party. A lot of that advice is just pity party advice. Oh, I give some pity party advice. The, the pity motherfuckers gonna come and, come and watch my content and we're just gonna be all a pity party. I'm not gonna complain, whine. You will never, you, guys, those those days of FedEx feelers are gone. I'm not complaining about girls ever again. I've leveled up my life so much that women are not a problem for me. I get DM'd every week. I get approached. I put in the work and I've seen a difference on what women do when they actually find you attractive. So that's the power I wanna give you guys. The things you can control, the things that you can affect because those things matter a lot more. If you latch on to things you can't control, you have no power. And if you don't have any power, you don't have any, any influence to make change. 
You guys understand that. If I don't have any power, I can't influence change. The only way you can influence change is if you take that power back. I'm only going to focus on things I can I can control. If a girl doesn't like me because I'm black, I don't give a damn. There are plenty of girls who look just like her or better, probably better, that want me. Doesn't affect me at all. I don't really care. I'm not even sitting up here analyzing why a girl doesn't like me. <laughs> she might, it might be because of whatever. She might not like my eyeballs. I don't. I have no clue, dog. The reason she don't like me has nothing to do with me. I focus on the girls who like me. This is my whole since the since the first few videos I've made on YouTube, I've been talking about high interest women only. And people call me crazy. High interest women only. Why y'all need high interest women? Why y'all need a high interest? Every girl ain't gonna be high interest. Well, when I focus on high interest women, I have power because I focus on things I can control. I'm not dealing with nonsense. I'm not dealing with misbehavior. The women in my life actually want to be with me. I don't focus on things that limit me as a man, that hinder my progress as a man. So maybe I'm crazy for one of the women that actually want me, but I want to encourage a lot more guys to want women that actually want them and to only focus on those women because the things that will attract those women are things you can control. And that's it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'll get back with you guys next time.